how will be my end of service bonus in the new minimum wage 2021 Hi guys, Max from the Max Creation. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Those that are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Press the notification icon below. You will be the first to know when I upload a new video. The minimum wage 2021. We are still talking about the minimum wage. Things that you should know about the minimum wage. And we are trying to discuss the all aspects, the all small aspects of the minimum wage. And this is what we are talking about today. How will my end of service bonus be calculated by my company using the minimum wage 2021? That is a question most people have asked. That is a question that most people have not gotten answers to. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to give you the right answers. The minimum wage 2021, everything you should know about the minimum wage. When we look at the end of service bonus, sometimes it's called the gratitude. End of service bonus, it is stipulated in the law. It is a given amount of money that is stipulated by law. Your company is supposed to give you at the end of your at the end of your term of service. What are we talking about? If you are either a domestic worker, all employees are entitled to end of service bonus. Remember, when we talk about the minimum wage, when it was stipulated, we talk about Article 72 of the Labor Law. That talks about the new minimum wage. It included all the workers, including the domestic workers. When we talk about the domestic workers, Maybe you didn't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people doing domestic housework. Those doing as nannies. Those doing as house drivers. They do all sorts of work. They are a part of the new minimum wage law of 2021. They are also entitled to the basic salary of 1000 as per the new law in the stipulation. Article 72 of the labor law. End of service bonus. When we talk about end of service bonus, we are actually looking at that money that your company is supposed to pay you at the end of your service. This service, depending on the agreed contract with your company, it can either be two years or it can even be five years or it can even, even be 10 years, depending on what mutual understanding you had with your company from the start. That mutual understanding is normally by the signing of the contract between the employee and the employer. For those that sign your contract, just remember well how many years you sign with your company or how many years, of how many years you sign in your contract with your company. It is quite very important. So when we talk about the end of service bonus, which is sometimes referred to as what we call gratitude. How gratitude is calculated? How gratitude is calculated? It will depend on how many years or how much time you've spent with the company. When we go back to the clause that you signed with the company, and that is the mutual understanding between which was governed by the contract that you signed on arrival or on your first day 
when you got your visa. So what I have to give you a hint, what I have to tell you is that if you've spent your company, if you've spent two years with your company, your end of service bonus will be calculated using three weeks of your salary. Okay. Then, if you've spent with the company for five years and above, your end of service bonus will be calculated using the four weeks of your salary. What am I talking about, guys? Just get it and note it, guys. What you should know, that if your basic salary is higher, then your end of term bonus will also be higher. If your basic salary is lower, your end of term bonus will also be lower. How does it come? And how is it calculated? If you have a higher basic salary, let's say for example right now we take the new minimum wage 2021. Your basic salary is 1,000. Your food allowance is 300. And your housing allowance is 500. So you have a total of 1,800 for eight hours duty. That is in case your employer does not provide for you food and does not give you accommodation. So you'll have your basic your minimum salary, which will be 1,800 for eight hours. And if your company provides accommodation for you, that means when you get the basic salary, which is 1,000, you add the 300 for food, then your minimum salary for one month, for eight hours worked, it will be 1,300. But remember, we have a situation whereby you are both given food and accommodation. That means you will be entitled to only 1,000 basic salary for eight hours, and that will be your minimum wage for that month. But remember, all these calculations we are talking about, they do not include the overtime, they do not include the day of pay. They do not include the public holiday or what you call a national day pay. It is strictly for the eight hours. So what I have to let you know, someone asked me a question. That is what I'm trying to explain. If you can allow me to read you the question, the question was saying, how will my end of service gratitude be calculated? If your contract ends after the minimum wage was introduced, then that means your gratitude or your end of bonus will be calculated basing on the old contract. What am I talking about? Remember this minimum wage law came into effect in March 2021. So for those that ended their contracts with their companies, depending on how many years they go to sign, before March 21st, they were only entitled to gratuity calculation according to the old contract. But if you have a new contract that came into effect and your basic salary is 1,000, remember it will just be automatically collected to the new basic salary. If you've not, sub if you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As we tend to discuss, we tend to break out the small item, the small 
important items you should know about the minimum wage. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put a comment below. I'll be able to get back to you. Share it to a friend so that we all get to benefit.